Welcome back to The Way We Farm. So today is part three in our series of Tom's Toys. So in the summer of 2010, we were farming. Man, price of corn was great. First year farming $4 corn, and we had a few soybeans in. I don't even remember the price of soybeans, but we were going to get rich farming. So going through the old tractor house, and here was this 8440 out at Poland Implement in Ohio. So at the time, Deer was offering 0% financing. They had, I think they had it listed at 21,000. I had a guy that would bring it home for about a thousand bucks. So I said, man, you can't beat that with a stick. So we ended up, I bought it sight unseen. We were busy and we were in the middle of green bean harvest. I didn't have time to go look for it. So let me, uh, let me give you a walk around on this tractor and tell you more about it. So the little 8440 bought it sight unseen. At the time, it had really nice tires. They're getting down now. But it had matching tires all the way around Firestones. It had a reman motor in it with very few hours on it. It had 9,000 plus hours. I ended up putting a new tack in it when we first got it. But we got this home in the fall of 2010. We didn't have a grain cart at the time. Or in Western New York, we like to call it a grain buggy. So this tractor does a lot of buggy duty just because of the PTO. Truth be known, I might have bought a Steiger or something like that, but with this tractor with three-point hitch and PTO, it was just a great little combination. So we brought it home in the spring of 2011 and went on our six-row zone builder. We put a nitrogen tank on the zone builder so we could pull it uh, and put our fertilizer down at the same time. So. This old girl ran the zone builder. I used TPS and not GPS at that time, a Tom positioning system. Troy was big enough to run it. I think uh, he was probably 13 or 14 first year we had it. So we got him trained on how to run it and run the zone builder. A couple years in, we ended up taking the two speed out of it. So on the quad range, the two speed, you have to articulate it all the way. I can't remember, it seems like we turned all the way to the right and then we were able to access it through here. Compared to new tractors, this is a whole lot of busyness in here. Yeah, it needs a bath, and actually I got one new joint to put in it this winter. But uh, this tractor now is semi-retired, but she's still a pretty cool old tractor for the day and age. Um, we, we don't mind, everybody seems to run it okay. Oh, she needs a bath. Maverick the cat approves, so. Works good on the cart. We use it a little bit on the disc. We don't do a lot of tillage. Last spring we had some mud ruts. Uh, she's gonna need a set of tires someday. But uh, again, another tractor that's semi-retired, but we still use it. I call them my working toys. Let's take a look in the cab. So by today's standards, this old cab is pretty crude. Yeah, the windshield's a little bit marked up. But back in 1979 when this thing came out, this was state of the art. Single stick quad range. If you never run one of them, I recommend you don't. <laughs> Compared to a power shift, it's not so much fun. But uh, yeah, spacious cab, air condition, pretty good line of sight with what you're pulling. You can almost see your drawbar when you're hooking stuff up if you sit just right in the seat. Like I say, three point hitch, so not a bad cart tractor. And uh, oh, yeah, the name. This tractor we call BART. BART stands for Baby Articulated, or back when we first bought it, we thought it was pretty badass, so we called it our Badass Articulated, aka BART. So we added some extra lights. We've used BART a lot. She, we've only put uh, probably 1,500 hours on it since we've owned it all these years, but the, the 100 hours a year we use it, it's uh, pretty critical to our workforce. So thanks for following along. Thanks. And uh, we will, hey, ma'am, get off the hood. So thanks for following along in our little series of Tom's Toys. We still use the little 8440. It's not a bad tractor to run compared to other tractors. Not quite as much fun. Do you still run an old Soundguard four-wheel drive? Or did you ever have one in the past? If you did, let me know. Send a comment. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And as always, great day to feed the world. Hope you are too. Talk to you next time.